Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Tom from TTT Tom's Tech Time. Welcome to another episode of the Drone Film School. Today, I want to be showing you the do's and don'ts of aerial cinematography. Let's get started right away and let's enhance your aerial work. If you really want to enhance the look of your aerials and give them a special and unique touch, you should start filming at sunrise and sunset. Let's take a look at an example where I filmed the very same location at two different daytimes. Even though the clip at the top looks nice due to the location and the rich autumn colors, the clip at the bottom does look more dramatic and cinematic for sure. It is a major task of every drone pilot out there to create amazing looking footage, right? And if you don't have a background in cinematography or photography, this can be quite challenging. There is a tutorial of mine that shows you the 8 most epic camera angles for your drone and with those you will for sure create more amazing looking footage. Check out the link in the video description below or on tomstechtime.com dfs. Both images show the same scenery, the old city of Akko. If you are trained and know your gear well, I can highly recommend flying lower to the ground. An easy rule often almost all the time applies. The lower you fly, the more cinematic the shot will look like. As mentioned before, when flying low, please keep in mind to look out for obstacles that might be in the way, especially if flying backwards or to the sides. And by the way, there is a new drone that has a 360 degrees obstacle avoidance system. I am really into this drone. You can check out the product link in the video description below. Intelligent flight functions make our drones great platforms for aerial cinematography. But at some point we should be careful. I have seen plenty videos where people circle using the point of interest around obstacles in forever, five times, six times, seven times. And of course we shouldn't be ever overusing the intelligent flight functions. So for example, let's talk about the POI. Don't circle around an object too many times. Maybe half of a circle makes the clip look interesting. If you're circling around it six times, this, this might look interesting to you, but probably not to your audience. Easy but effective. Keep shadows of your drone out of your final film. Next to that, make sure your propellers don't appear in your footage. There is a drone, by the way, that doesn't have the propeller problem. Find out which model I'm talking about. A link can be found in the video description below. Let me right now show you another clip of mine that I recorded in Canada lately. It's actually looking quite nice, but everyone should notice that there is something wrong with this image and that is basically that the horizon is off. We call that tilted horizon and we can see that basically the horizon is not straight and that doesn't look professional. So we should always at the end after editing a, a clip, we should go um, and check the horizon and just fix that because fixing it is quite easy. And there is a little tool that I am usually using and that is a basic red line with a transparent background that I can move up or down to just check whether a clip is aligned correctly. And if I now see that the um, image is incorrectly aligned, I just move it towards the horizon, then select the background layer and just start rotating the back. Okay, this is about detail. So let's say negative 1.5 maybe. Yep, that should be working out. Right now I can move the red line away again and um, I only see that there are some black spots appearing right now. We can get rid of those by simply zooming in a tiny little bit. This means that we will be losing some quality, but that is definitely worth it because I think uh, having a good horizon 
level horizon is absolutely worth it. And where can you find these lines if you don't know how to create those yourself? It's pretty simple. You check out tomstechtime.com slash downloads and together with plenty other downloads, you find a horizon checker red line at the bottom. And if you now click it, you can download it for free. Short break, everybody. We'll be back in a couple of seconds only. Welcome to the all new Tom's Tech Time website. Let me show you around. Dozens of how-to videos, reviews, and comparisons are waiting for you. All categorized, all free, all ready to watch. At TomsTechTime.com, you're only one click away from our highly viewed segment, The Drone Film School. There you can find video lessons, buyer's guides, and many filmmaking templates. Don't own a drone yet? Click the deals page and find the hottest offers on the web. And if you already have a drone, enhance its capabilities with the most highly recommended accessories for filmmaking, safety, and a better flying experience. TomsTechTime.com, teaching the world how to fly drones. Let's right now take a closer look at this beautiful clip of mine. Well, it could be looking beautiful if only set up correctly. Please cut away all those sequences and parts of a video that only show you preparing a shot. Create smooth motion only and one clip after another. Don't rotate the drone like crazy, don't tilt the gimbal without some sensitivity, don't create abrupt movements, don't use a single of those clips for your final project. Clips like the one shown right now do neither make you look professional nor will they attract your audience. Let's right now take a look at a special clip of mine and find out what's wrong with it. No worries, your speaker is still working. There was no audio. And I have seen plenty clips with no audio at all and that is a typical sign for a boring video. So we should add some music. Let's give it a go. Sorry everyone, I didn't want to hurt your ears, but I just wanted to give you an example of how to not use music with aerials. Most of the time we should be choosing ambient music or classical music and of course music that fits with our clip. And we should be careful with the music. So the music should not be the reason to watch the video because sometimes the music, music is just too loud and um, people just don't like to watch it that way. We want to have some calm music that just fits with, our, with the style of our video. So I have put together another little audio. It just took me like two minutes. You can watch that right now. And before we do so, I wanted to give you a hint where you can find good music. Have you checked out the YouTube audio library? You can find plenty of good clips in there that you are even allowed to use on YouTube. I could right now talk for 5 minutes or 10 minutes and I think everyone would be bored at some point. But there is something that I want to tell you. Your aerials might look boring if the duration is just too long. So cut your aerials short, have like an average duration of about 6 seconds and your clip will be looking pretty much exciting. Okay, I just want to show you something. Enjoy it. Ouch, that's not what we want to see. And for sure your audience is just gonna skip 
your video if they see titles like that. It's just a matter of fact, we should be using decent titles most of the time, one colored and without any fancy lines or shadows or whatsoever. So keep things calm and you'll be good to go. Take a look at this shot. Flat style, reduced contrast, right out of the camera. Let's compare it to this color graded version. Popping colors, flashy look. Please avoid both. The left image looks odd and sad, while the right one seems to be filmed in the 70s. Either choose a neutral style as shown right now, or work with decent colors. Many beautiful LUTs for color grading can be found on tomstechtime.com slash downloads. Thank you for watching this episode of the Drone Film School. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumb up to never ever miss an upcoming episode again. And don't forget to check out tomstechtime.com slash DFS for all other episodes, downloads and a lot more. And if you really want to influence my work, there is a way to get that done. Check out tomstechtime.com slash you decide and tell me what episode to film next. What are you interested in? Leave your vote on something and make Tom's Tech Time great again. This was Tom from TDD Tom's Tech Time. Over and out, stay tuned, fly safe.